It's a mask that looks like it's straight out of the movies, and police in North Huntington say this is what a man used to try to disguise himself to try to pull off a bank robbery. The alleged wannabe robber's plan led to lockdowns at two high schools this morning and ultimately ended with the masked man in handcuffs. Megan Schiller joins us live from Westmoreland County with how his alleged heist was foiled. Susan, police had surveillance video. They knew, or at least they thought they knew, who they were looking for. But after they started talking to the suspect for a little bit, they noticed that something was up. A viewer sent us video of the arrest, so take a look. A viewer sent KDKA this cell phone video showing North Huntington officers arresting the suspect, Luke Dell. Even in this video, shot from a distance, he appears to be a middle-aged man. Luke, do you have anything to say? I'm very sorry. Here's Dell hours later, looking about 30 years younger. The mask was a very high quality mask. It made him look like he was probably in his late 60s, early 70s, when in fact he was a 35 year old male. Chief Robert Rizzo said Dell put on this expensive, lifelike mask to carry out his alleged diversion plan that started here. A gentleman walked into uh, the local Bob Evans, uh, a note was passed. In the notes, there were threats to Norman High School and Jeanette High School with bombs and active shooter. That prompted lockdowns. High schoolers sent home early and bomb sniffing dogs that turned up nothing. It was a smart plan, but I don't think it was that intelligent to involve the kids because he's going to get in a lot more trouble because of that. Detectives tracked Dell's car and made the arrest, but they found no weapons. They said his reason for the threats and the mask. Pull all the resources to one area, and then his intent was to uh, possibly rob a bank. Um, that's what he wanted to do. Um, he never followed through with that intent. And another interesting thing is that Dell isn't even from here. He's from Beaver Creek, Ohio. They say he was in the area for another reason, but according to the paperwork released by police, they say he's going to be charged with terroristic threats, causing or risking catastrophe, reckless threat to use a weapon of mass destruction, and theft of a license plate. Reporting live outside the North Huntington Police Department, I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.